Hello students, let's understand today about musical notes, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eight notes, sixteenth notes and all note values. Now let's place these notes so they can represent a pitch. A pitch is a sound determined by the speed of vibration from the source of the sound. A source means in our case musical instruments and this vibration create a pitch. The thinner the vibration, the faster the vibration, the higher the pitch. The slower the vibration, the lower the pitch. We begin with a staff or a stave which has five parallel lines. Any one of our notes can be placed on of these five lines or four spaces. Let's work with a whole note. Now the next element to identifying a pitch is added that called a clef. There are many clefs but let's start working with the treble clef. Each note placed on the treble clef has a name corresponding to the first seven letters of the alphabet starting with A and ending with G. These seven notes names are repeated. Now on the staff with the treble clef, A is on the second space. Continuing up, the next note is B. That will be on the third line, then the third space is C. The fourth line is a D. The fourth space is E. The fifth line is F. And above the staff, a G. Now we can see the succession of the notes from A to G on the treble clef staff. If we place a note below or lower than the second space A on the second line it is a G. Remember the alphabet goes from A to G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And if we go down we reverse the alphabet. So that line second line become a G. The first space an F, the lowest line an E and below the staff is D. As the notes ascend, the pitch become higher. When the notes descend, the pitch become a lower. This is the true of all traditional music notation. Treble clef is sometimes called a G clef because it circles the G on the second line. This clef is used for treble instruments and voices or the highest pitch instruments and voice. The soprano voice and the instrument like flute, oak, clarinet, trumpet, horn, violin and the upper part of the piano often play with the right hand. Hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you.